La mayor parte de los habitantes del planeta se declaran creyentes. Esto debería provocar un diálogo entre las religiones. No debemos dejar de orar por él y colaborar con quienes piensan distinto. Confío en Buda. Creo en Dios. Creo en Jesucristo. Creo en Dios. Alá. Muchos piensan distinto, sienten distinto, buscan a Dios o encuentran a Dios de diversa manera. En esta multitud, en este abanico de religiones, hay una sola certeza que tenemos para todos. Todos somos hijos de Dios. In a possible sign from above, lightning has struck the Vatican just hours after Pope Benedict XVI announced his surprising resignation. Footage shot shows the top of St. Peter's Basilica being struck by lightning during a thunderstorm over the Vatican. Well, we don't know what this means, but we can show you an extraordinary photograph of an extraordinary lightning strike at the Christ the Redeemer statue that towers over the city of Rio. More than just an outburst of nature, it apparently caused damage. And he said unto them, I beheld Satan as lightning fall from heaven. An earthquake was felt on Saturday morning in southern and central Israel at around 10.30 a.m., a 4.1 magnitude on the Richter scale. The earthquake's epicenter was in Jordan, near the border with Israel, some 35 kilometers southeast of Mitz Ramon. And I beheld another beast coming up out of the earth, and he had two horns like a lamb, and he spake as a dragon. La mayor parte de los habitantes del planeta se declaran creyentes. Esto debería provocar un diálogo entre las religiones. No debemos dejar de orar por él y colaborar con quienes piensan distinto. Confío en Buda. Creo en Dios. Creo en Jesucristo. Creo en Dios. Alá. Muchos piensan distinto, sienten distinto. Buscan a Dios o encuentran a Dios de diversa manera. En esta multitud, en este abanico de religiones, hay una sola certeza que tenemos para todos. Todos somos hijos de Dios.
In a possible sign from above, lightning has struck the Vatican just hours after Pope Benedict XVI announced his surprising resignation. Footage shot shows the top of St. Peter's Basilica being struck by lightning during a thunderstorm over the Vatican. Well, we don't know what this means, but we can show you an extraordinary photograph of an extraordinary lightning strike at the Christ the Redeemer statue that towers over the city of Rio. More than just an outburst of nature, it apparently caused damage. said unto them, I beheld Satan as lightning fall from heaven. An earthquake was felt on Saturday morning in southern and central Israel at around 10.30 a.m., a 4.1 magnitude on the Richter scale. The earthquake's epicenter was in Jordan, near the border with Israel, some 35 kilometers southeast of Mitz Ramon. And I beheld another beast coming up out of the earth, and he had two horns like a lamb, he spake as a dragon. And if at times our efforts and works seem to fail and not produce fruit, we need to remember that we are followers of Jesus Christ and his life, humanly speaking, ended in failure. I always carry two things. Un rosario. Rosary. Un rosario. No doubt about that. The Vatican itself has about eight resident experts. It, it uses those for there, and in the two other cities that are devil written in Italy, Milano and Torino, Milan and Turin. But there's no doubt about it that the satanic or Luciferian practices, because it's really of the prince, that his name is Lucifer. The Vatican wants to change the tone when it comes to gays and same-sex couples. I'm going to start with you, the Catholic in the group. Are you impressed? I am by the Pope and what he's doing here about opening the door to not just the gay people and their relationships, the couple, the coupling of the people together, but also for people with marriages. The first marriage may have been a disaster, and they're and they're living with somebody else or married to someone else. Much different than it was when I was growing up. Well, this is not, of course, the final word from the Pope or from the Synod, but it's a huge change in tone. It's a welcome, I think, by almost everybody. I think that even people who may disagree feel, you know, we're welcoming people in, that, that this is such a departure from a time when people really did feel that the door had been closed. But the biggest change, I think, in this synod is that the cardinals, the bishops, are able to speak. They know they a, have a friend. It, it, well, they're able to speak openly. They've yeah. been encouraged to just go with the discussion after so many years when we were told certain topics are off the table.
And laughing and joking with him, he says, not only will the role of women in the church be more prominent and important, this is also what he had to say, in specific about gay priests. If someone is gay, and I'm quoting, if someone is gay and he searches for the Lord and has goodwill, who am I to judge? End quote. This, of course, uh, does fly in the face, really, of his predecessor, Pope Benedict, who had said that men with deep-rooted homosexual tendencies should not be priests. Again, as you mentioned, George, just another sign of conciliation. And you know, this is a growing Francis. sentiment inside the church. Now, there's still opposition in the Catholic clergy to gay marriage, mm -hmm. but I spoke with Cardinal Dolan here in New York uh, several weeks ago, and I said, what would you say to a gay couple that comes to you and says, we love each other, and we, we want to live out that love? He said, I love you too, and God loves you. They're trying to reach out, trying to find ways to include everyone in that church now. But 